Hi friends, I'm Leah and welcome to DIY Beauty Lab. Today I'm going to be using Brazilian Botox Expert, which is a really great product to use if you want the effects of a Brazilian blowout, but you don't want all of the harsh chemicals. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, then stick around. <laughs> Here at DIY Beauty Lab, I try to figure out how to do all of those expensive med spa treatments here at home. And so if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and also the notification bell if you wanna know every time a new video comes out. I try to get them out on Wednesdays, but that doesn't always happen. So definitely hit that notification bell. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. You will notice that this product kind of has a leave-in conditioner consistency. I have washed my hair. That's the first instruction. They give you these instructions right here. First one is to wash your hair with any anti-residue shampoo, pH 9 or more. And that is what I have done. So my hair is now dry. This is how my hair dries right here. You can tell it's really frizzy. Um, it's actually very dry at the ends as well. So I'm really excited to use this. So the next part is section the hair into six parts and apply the product to all hair and leave the product on for 30 to 40 minutes. Um, after I do that, it says to rinse your hair partially, enough product to straighten it with a flat iron. So you rinse it partially and then you're gonna blow dry your hair with a round brush. So this pretty much is just like an actual Brazilian blowout, which if you have not seen the video, I did a traditional Brazilian blowout. It's down below as well. Um, you'll notice in that video, my eyes were like watering the entire time. The chemicals are super harsh. And because of the sound, I wasn't able to open up my windows because um, the, the gardener was there and there was just a lot of noise at my old house. And so, um, so I wasn't able to open the windows. So my eyes, I didn't have any ventilation. My eyes were watering so bad. So this is actually why I found this product because a lot of people were very concerned for me on the video. They were like, oh my gosh, those chemicals are so harsh. It's so bad for you. And I'm like, don't you know me? I'm the one that shoots up Korean Botox in my head. This is literally the least of my worries, but thanks for the concern. I appreciate it. So this is actually why I went and found this product. And so this gives you a very, very similar effect without all of those harsh chemicals. So moving on. So then we will blow dry my hair with a round brush. And then we're going to section it into six parts again, and we're going to flat iron Lydia. Flat iron the hair in thin and linear strands for about 10 times each strand after the flat iron hair is ready. Um, yeah, and so that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off into six sections. Let's do this. Okay, now that I have it sectioned off into six parts, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top. What I discovered last time I did the Brazilian blowout was that I ran out of product and the most important parts. I started at the bottom, but then by the time I got to the top, I didn't have as much product. And this is actually the frizziest part of my hair is like the top section. So I'm gonna go ahead and start there just to ensure that I do not run out. So like I said before, this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner con um, consistency. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out this first section up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brush this out. I'm just gonna start taking chunks of this, start putting it on all the way to the root because I've got frizzies all the way at my roots. use this comb. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, so you just want to use a comb. Make sure that it's even throughout your hair. Okay, so now that I am done, I'm going to go ahead and twist this up and then repin it. Come say hi. Come over here. This is Emily. What is that you have in your hand? Is that the doggies pajamas? Yes. So it's Christmas time here. It's Christmas is actually tomorrow. And we all have matching pajamas from Target. And we just found these last night. They're the dog Christmas pajamas that match. So we have two dogs. 
And we tried one on the German Shepherd last night and she was not happy about it at all. Was she? She was so mad. Yeah, we're gonna make her put it on tonight though for a picture though, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so I have it on my entire head. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for 40 minutes. And you will notice that I've used the majority of it. I still have a little bit left. I probably could have gone a little bit heavier on it on the top, but um, it's all on there. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit. And then I'm going to rinse it out. Not all of it, just a little bit of it. And then I'm gonna blow dry it and then flat iron it. So stay tuned. All right, so I've moved down to my bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out and then I'm going to gently rinse it out. All right, so I have rinsed my hair. You can still feel a little bit of the conditioner in there and that's what you want. You wanna have a little bit left. So I'm gonna go ahead and towel it and get as much of the dampness out and then I'm gonna go ahead and start round brushing it. Okay, so my hair is still slightly damp. I'm actually gonna take the blow dryer to it. I've got the dry bar blow dryer here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to it, get a lot of the dampness out, and then I'm gonna round brush it. So let's do this. All right, so now that I've gotten the majority of the dampness out of my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and round brush it. Okay, so I've gotten all of the dampness out of my hair. It should feel like you have conditioner still in your hair. So that's okay if your hair feels gross right now. So um, now that it is all brushed and straight, I'm gonna go ahead and get my dry bar straightener here. And we're gonna seal in this product into your hair. Now it says to do 10 passes on each strand. And I usually have my strands, I don't try, I try not to take too much, usually that much right there. So that much hair. And you're gonna start from root and you're gonna go all the way down. I usually don't go all 10 passes on my ends only because I don't wanna fry them. So I usually kind of do those at the end. So I'll stick to the main part of my hair, like the first six passes and then I'll hit the bottom at the end. And depending on how hot my hair gets, I sometimes don't even do all 10 passes and it really just depends. So this um, straightener, it's the dry bar straightener, goes up to 450. And I'm actually just gonna put it at like 390 because I don't wanna fry my hair. It really just depends on your hair as to how hot you go with, this, with these straighteners. You don't wanna fry your hair. Um, so I am going to do 390 and let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and section it off into six sections. So you want to make sure that your hair is exactly how you want it to be straightened when it goes into the straightener. So if you have any like knots or any gathering of hair up here, it'll literally straighten it like that. And if there's like kinked hair, it'll straighten it kinked and then it'll be stuck there for like a good solid month. So make sure your hair is brushed. And you're gonna go ahead and start at the root and go all the way down. Sometimes helps to have a glove on for this too because your hair gets hot.
All right, I am finished. This took me about two hours and I'm super happy with the results. I'm not gonna wash it for about two days just so that I can let the product set in, but I absolutely love it. So definitely check out Nutri. Uh, if you look down in the notes below, I'll list everything that I use. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments as well. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. See you next time.